वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज फार एज यू एस एस बी इज कंसर्न और ये लेक्चर डिलीवर किया है विक्रांत ने हु इज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इज अपकमिंग ए एफ एस बी विक्रांत हैज डिलीवर इन वेरी डिटेल वे सो मस्ट वॉच टिल दी एंड यूल डेफिनेटली गेट बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम दिस जय है जय हिंद एवरी वन इन दी लास्ट सिक्स टू सेवन ईयर्स अंडर द रजीम ऑफ बीजेपी our prime minister narendra modi in his various speeches had constantly advocated the need to implement the one nation one election system as you all know that currently uh, in india we have a election cycle where the election will be conducted after the expiration of 5 years of tenure of any government so currently we have that system but in the recent few years our prime minister has continuously pitched his voice Uh, in the favor of one nation one election system so jai hind everyone my name is ikran and my today's lecture topic is the one nation one election system the idea of one nation one election system is not new uh, in context with india india as a country is well acquainted itself uh, with the one nation one election system or or uh, conducted ele- elections in a simultaneous manner During our initial years of independence, from year 1952 to 1967, we have a system where the elections for the Lok Sabha and Vidhan Sabha are conducted together. So, during these years, we are well acquainted with self. We are well acquainted then ourselves with that election system. But after the year 1967, this series of chain was disrupted uh, due to the political instability in our country, and which led to the uh, election, which led to the disruption of election. And currently, we are now standing on the position where the elections are conducted in a different manner, where, where elections to the Lok Sabha and Vidhan Sabha are conducted on a different dates. So, India as a country is not. Uh, uh, is well acquainted with that system we are well aware that how uh, how simultaneous elections are conducted uh, in a, in our country like india so if i tell about you the basic meaning of the one nation one election system the basic meaning of one election one nation one election system is that that there will be uh, a restructuring of the indian election cycle will take place that the restructured indian election cycle will come out uh, in such a manner that elections to the lok sabha and vidhan sabha are synchronized together and the ele- both and the elections to the both uh, are conducted in a given span giving time span uh, thus helps us to save lot of money and lot of time as you all know that india has spent billions or billions of dollars in conducting a fair and free election we have to spend billions of dollars you will be surprised to know that uh, that a report has come out uh, is released or published by a delhi based think tank that in 2019 lok sabha in lok sabha election uh, india has spent around uh, 3000 crore in conducting a free elections 3000 crore is a very big amount i will give you another shock by telling that Uh, this is a very small amount that india is spent as compared to the the amount that was spent by our uh, political parties in its campaign you will be shocked to know that that around 50000 crore will be spent has had been spent by our political parties in its political campaign in the 2019 lok sabha election 50000 nearly equals to 7 billion dollar is a very big amount in that amount we can buy a s400 s400 missile system or we can buy a many defense we can invest this amount in our public infrastructure to dub in our public dub development so this is a very big amount so india is spend millions or billions of dollar uh, conducting election and we have a very uh, flaw we have very flaws in our election system we all have to admit that fact that in india elections are conducted every year not in every year every 6 month every in every 6 month we have uh, we have seen we have we are able to see a election in any in one corner of india whether it be a municipal corp municipal corporation election panchayat elections or a state election state leg- legislative elections so we have uh, these types of laws in our election system where elections are conducted every 6 month this will uh, create a burden on the government spending the government have to spend a lot of amount of money in conducted a successful election so in that scenario 
it is the need for us to implement the one nation one election system it is the it, it is now the right time for us to implement the one nation one election system so uh, if i talk about the advantages of conducting the simultaneous elections or the one nation one election system the very first advantage uh, is that th this will help the government to reduce the cost of spending on elections and uh, save public money and we can use that money uh, uh, and we can use that money we can invest that money in our public infrastructure in our various de development projects so the very first advantage is help us to reduce our spending on the uh, uh, on the conducting of fair elections every year or every six months the second advantage is that uh, that this will reduce the burden on the administration and the security forces as we all are, are aware with the fact that during elections a uh, lot of security forces are deployed uh, in the election areas in in a particular state where the elections are conducted or in the lok sabha election where the security forces are deployed in every state It also reduce the cost that if the one uh, election will be conducted at a single time the third is the third advantage is that that by implementing the one nation one election system uh, this will uh, ensure that the effective implementation of government policies will take place the state and the central government are able to form a synergy between its government policies and we will able uh, to utilize the potential of both governments and helps us to ensure the effective implementation of these policies so these are the advantage if i talk about the challenges Uh, we have certain challenges in 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 our way the first challenge is that uh, that it was very difficult for the central government to persuade the opposition party as all the opposition party has a fear in its mind that if this system has been implemented this will automatically uh, provide a leverage to the central government as the voter has um, in its mind to give a vote uh, to a particular uh, party and a different pa and to vote in a state election to the different party so voter in a conscious state uh, and the political opposition political party are aware of that the second is that that the uh, conducted one nation one election system will require a lot of manpower lot of evms lot of vv pats in a humongous scale so this will also a problem and third uh, is that that various uh, political analyst has raised this voice that uh, by implementing the one nation one election system the uh, the democratic system of the country will change into the dictatorial one where the government will not be accountable to the needs of the people so these are the some certain challenges uh, that are raised by the political opposition parties uh, not not in the favor of the implementation of one nation one election system and at last if i come to the conclusion yes we have certain flaws in our election system and we have certain uh, we have to work in that system to implement the one nation one election system but uh, to successful implementation of one nation one election system we have to uh, uh, first we have to uh, uh, first we have to do certain amendments in our constitution